Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for the month of September. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages, so they may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what's going on in your love life. What's going on with Capricorn? Firm foundation. Sacrifice. Emotional withdrawal. Disruption. And rejoice and celebration. Some of you are going to go through a challenge. Maybe or are currently going through a challenge in your love life. Um, maybe your person has emotionally withdrawn or you feel the need to do that. But there is there's some kind of disruption in your life. However, it's not going to be long lasting and it is for transformation in a positive way. Let me see what's going on with your person. What's their energy towards Capricorn for the month of September? Current person's energy towards Capricorn. The lovers could be a Gemini for some of you. And the Nine of Swords. So there's good and there is bad. This person's feeling anxiety here. They do feel like they're being tested, like the relationship is being tested. But it's bringing them a lot of anxiety, like feeling like this challenge for them is feeling scary for them. But they have this lover's energy towards you. So there's, there's still like, it's not like they themselves want to turn away from you. It's just that they're feeling the pressure. All right. Two of Pentacles. Some of you are needing to make a decision here. What's Capricorn's energy towards this person? Oh my gosh. Oh, some of you, it might be you who's withdrawing from them because we have this single type energy and walking away. Um, we also have the Two of Wands here, which is like seeing what else is out there. Some of you may be dating online. Or you probably laid eyes on someone else. Some of you, if you're in separation, I feel like you were thinking, okay, let me just move on with my life. Let me just do me because blah, blah, blah. Maybe you just feel like they're not, they're not coming back. But they seem to be, they seem to be feeling anxiety. This is reminding me of the typical situation where you've been separated for a month. You start to move on with your life, but they start to miss you. You know, that's how it always goes. So that's what I'm feeling here as well. What's the energy of this connection? Energy of this connection, the world. I get the feeling that you felt it was done and you were ready to start new. As far as you were concerned, you were like, okay, it's been, it's been some time time to find someone else or you know move on just move on with my life in general but they're feeling differently they're feeling like is this really over blah 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 we have the two of cups here ultimately both of you want this two of cups energy i feel like they want it with you but i feel like you at the moment don't know who you want it with because of the energy of this connection where it seems like it's over for you you may feel like, okay, this is over and it's time for a new beginning. They're feeling differently. Okay, it could be vice versa. But let me see what's going on. Capricorn. Capricorn, what's going on with Capricorn for the month of September? Can Capricorn expect in love? For the month of September. Okay, 
you're about your paper. <laughs> you're about making that, um, building security for yourself. Your heart is kind of closed off at the moment. You've got the four of pentacles, guarding your heart, protecting yourself. You're seeing them as cold. For some of you, this person may have cut you off in the past and you just feel like, okay, it's done. They cut me off. I have to start a new chapter. You didn't know that they were thinking differently. They could be an Aries. We have the Emperor, you see? Six of Cups. They miss you, lovers again. They're seeing you as their lover, their person. They, they still feel like this is a relationship that you guys are together. The Knight of Swords is what's blocking. Whenever this is in the position of what's blocking. It could be a person for some of you, but unlike the rest of the people in the deck, I feel like this card as a block is usually like Saturn energy where it comes in and it's rough and it's a challenge. You having to make sacrifices, everything's just been disrupted. For some of you, it could be the return of this person that kind of disrupts, kind of disrupts your, your flow because you felt like you were going this way and then they came and just threw you off the path. Um, we got the Ten of Swords. This could have been someone who made you, who made you experience this Ten of Swords energy, made you feel those Ten Swords, you know, felt defeated right when you're about to start new. They show up. They are missing you because we got the Six of Cups. What surprises me is this Ace of Swords. And it shouldn't surprise me because we do have the Three of Cups here, which does mean reconciliation. The Ace of Swords being the outcome tells me that even after you thought it was over and after it being such a rough situation, there is still triumph. There's still success um, possible for this relationship with the Ace of Swords. It's about a new beginning, regardless of how the past was, how hard it was in the past. Could be dealing, dealing with a Gemini or Aries. Some of you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy is here as well. But some of you, I don't know if there's a third party situation involved or if there was in the past that made you feel betrayed. Or if you've met someone new and this person feels like you're giving them more attention, but that six of pentacles is saying something and it may connect with this knight of swords, which may be a person who's in the way. So let me clarify and see. Why the, why the six of cups? Yeah, three of pentacles. Some time has passed here. This person has grown to love you more rather than grown apart from you. The longer you stay separated, the more they feel like it's worth waiting for and the more they miss you. However, they may feel, especially if you have moved on, it's looking more like that for some of you, like you're either gonna find someone new or you already have and there's someone who still loves you, who you were with before this person. They might be, <laughs> they might be waiting for you to break up with your new person if you do have someone new. I see someone just kind of watching the situation and just waiting for it to be over. This is just what your person might be thinking. It doesn't have to be. Why is the why is the emperor here? Why the emperor? The fool. The tower in reverse. They want to get control. They want to get back control of the situation. They want a new beginning and to rebuild it and to be the king or the queen in your life again. And they're waiting for that. They're waiting patiently, even if you've even if you've moved on. 
I get the vibe that they feel you and them have a firmer foundation and more history than you and any other new person in your life. So... <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this person's energy. Um, why the Queen of Swords? Oh my, oh gosh, cards are falling. All right. The Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. You've seen them as being left out in the cold. Some of you may feel like it's worth waiting for or they, you may have seen them as leaving you out in the cold for work. Some of you, this person may have left the country or where you guys live to go to work. Could be someone in the military um, who had to leave to go and work or someone who had to go work. They may have put their job first for some of you. Or something, they put something first and left you out. And you that made you see them as being cold, like how could you leave? because of that, you know, this and that. But why the lovers? Why the lovers? Capricorn. Why the lovers? The magician. They feel they can make it happen. You see? They feel they can make it happen the knight of cups them coming towards you the magician them feeling i feel like they just feel that you and them have more history than anyone and they know you more than anyone else and that you guys are supposed to be together we have the world in reverse so they they don't feel like this is over this is not over in their mind okay let me clarify the ace of swords even though it's clear some more messages Ace of Swords. Yep, you're not gonna be single. Death card could be a Scorpio for some of you. But you won't be single at all. If you're single now, you won't be single for long. You have been healing with this Three of Swords. Some of you may feel like you're at the point where you have healed and are ready to start a new chapter whether it's with this person or with someone new and i see communication coming in it's gonna kind of start off friendly first and progress what's going on with capricorn see reconciliation Unrequited love, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like this has to do with the fact that you thought it was over. You thought that it was done, like they weren't attracted to you or there was no chemistry and everything was done. That was it and you were going to start a whole new life by yourself or with someone new. And that didn't end up being the case or it's not going to end up being the case in September. Because here we have the chemistry card which contradicts the not enough chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here so it literally contradicts the not enough attraction or chemistry because there is so it's like you thought there wasn't but there really is and once this person returns you'll realize that honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so it's it's like a a, a total star over in this relationship like you literally press reset i'm here and reset And you didn't even think that this would be the case. Because you had it all planned out to start new, but let's see. We have, you are ready. Perfect timing, not the right time and take action. So very soon this is gonna happen. It's just that it wasn't the right timing, maybe at first, when you were first with this person. Maybe you had to sacrifice, um, maybe they had to sacrifice by moving away or they had to sacrifice the relationship for their career and they may regret that. Their career may have disrupted your relationship or something disrupted your relationship causing it to separate, emotional withdrawal. Um, but 
that was only because it just wasn't the right time it was a bad time you know we have to take action and look for a sign so you may not trust this situation especially if there was pain in the past but just look look through all the signs look at all the signs and figure out whether it's for you or not okay so signs you could be dealing with we got gemini and aries and scorpio gemini aries scorpio the strongest being here but also taurus virgo capricorn and gemini libra aquarius so this is what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn. Check your other placements. If you want to know what else is coming to you, leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. And thank you so much for watching.